Talk to us what, what the mindset's like for you, man. I mean, the stretch that you're having to deal with. You know you're a talented guy. You know you can compete with the best in the world, but you just haven't been getting the results. What's, what's the mindset been like for you? Um, you know what, man, my mindset, my last few fights, I just, um, I haven't been fully focused enough, you know, and, and that's what it is. But now, um, this, this training camp, you know, I've been really focusing just me, you know, taking my time, really focusing on what I need to do. And, um, you know, just speaking everything in existence. You know, I know how great I am. You know, I know I'm better than these guys I'm fighting. I know I'm better than these guys I'm losing to. I just need to stay focused for 15 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever it is. And, um, Get back on the winning track. I was gonna say, I mean, to me, Darren's kind of made it famous for having comebacks <laughs> like that, right? But so is that the lesson you take? Is that you just you like mentally weren't there for a second, and that's when he was able to get the position? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, look, I, I got a stupid kick, I slipped and fell, and then uh, kind of froze up a little bit, and then I tried to rush the situation, and um, it, it's just me in there um, taking my time and not thinking, you know. So I just have to trust myself. I have to trust my training. And I'm trusted. I know I have the ability to get out of these positions and just be calm and cool in there. Nice. Talk about the decision to stay at featherweight. I mean, is this your division? Because I wondered, you know, when you, when you didn't win, if you think, man, that weight cut wasn't worth it. I didn't get a win. I might as well go back up to lightweight. So did you consider it all? And what made you say, no, I'm, I'm staying at featherweight? Uh, yeah, I consider it going back up. But, you know, um, everybody knows how stubborn I am in this sport. So um, I was like, nah, hell no, nah, I'm not going back up. I got to get another win. So I'm going to put myself through the torture of getting down to 45 again. And, um, you know, I can't just go into a division and run away after another loss. You know, that's not me. Um, you know, I want to show everybody that, hey, I'm here. I can't compete with these guys, and I'm going to come take this division over and come back up and finish what I started at Lightweight. So you plan on going back there at some point? Oh, yes. You know, I definitely want to see, um, you know, I've beaten what, two of the guys in the top five. You know, I've been beating all the guys in the top ten. So. It's no reason for me to run away. I just wanted some, some new faces and a change of scenery. What do you think about this matchup with Philly? Um, it's a great matchup. You know, um, Philly's, um, he's a great, talented guy. He comes from a great gym. It's my third time fighting him, so, you know, that'd be fun. And, um, you know, he gets in there and he bangs, you know, so it's going to be very talented. Um, he's definitely underestimating me. I've been hearing around here, so that's a bad thing for him. I mean, does this feel like a very important moment that you've, you've got to prove that, that you still, I guess, belong? Yeah, absolutely. It is. Um, you know, I'm no, I'm no idiot. You know, it's a business, and you're only as good as what you're producing and what you're putting out. And uh, I'm fighting on three fight losing streak, regardless of if I was winning them before, regardless of how I'm doing. You know, that's just uh, life, and that's how it is. So I have to come up. I have to compete, and I have to get this win. You know, I will get this win. Do you think that uh, Philly feels that he has the advantage because you fought guys from the gym before? Like, do you think they? feel they have figured you out? Uh, they might think they figured me out, but like I said, we're one and one, and I was uh, beating the last guy's ass until I made a simple mistake, and he just jumped on my back. You know, I knocked their coach out, so um, I don't see where he has the advantage or where he thinks he has the advantage, but he's definitely underestimating me. He thinks it's, um, his, he thinks it's his time. You know, he thinks I've came and gone already, but um, no, this is my second breath. I'm in it to win it right now. I'm fully focused, and you guys are going to see the old Michael Johnson in there. You've been through a murderer's row, man. I mean, Elkins, Gaethje, Namiri Madoff, Poirier. Where do you think Feely rates with the guys you've faced recently? Hey, you know, um, I don't look at my past fights. You know, I, I don't look at who I fought. I don't try to compare them to Andre Feely because when it all said and done, um, Andre Feely is the toughest guy I'm going to face because I fight him Saturday night. You know, that's the only thing I'm focused on right now. So I'm not trying to compare him to Diaz or Poirier or any of those guys. You know, um, Andre Philly's the topic and he's the objective.